starting to slow down. A16. Hey, that's me. That's my spot. A16. 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 You're my SC for this sales call. Fantastic. I'll take my car. It's closer. A16. What is this? Page 33. Man, if you think it's funny... Page 33. I'm not in the mood. All right, why don't you go blow dry your hair some more or something? Don't you realize what you wrote? You wrote a treasure map. If you see him around, I want to meet that guy. There's a project I want to discuss with him. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? This puts the future squarely in the hands of those who know computers not for what they are, but for everything they have the potential to be. What? You know who said that? No, no, I don't. You did. Page 36, closing paragraph. Computers aren't the thing. They're the thing that gets us to the thing. time ago, you know, way back in the 1800s, there was a farmer in Cardiff, New York. Cardiff, like your job. Exactly. And this farmer, you know, he wanted to feel special. So he built a 10-foot tall giant and buried it out in his field. And he waited. And a year went by. And then he and some of his workers dug it up. And the men who worked for him were convinced that the giant was real. And the people told him to show it to the world. And he did. And people came from all around. And he felt very, very special. He was so special that somebody offered to partner with him. P.T. Barnum, an expert salesman. And they fought and they argued day and night because the salesman wanted the giant all to himself. What happened? P.T. Barnum built his own giant. And he made it part of his circus, and he claimed that it was real. And he was such an expert salesman that everyone forgot about the farmer. And he was left in the dust, in the contrail.
go over there. Do you have a key to this room? Yes. Take your personal belongings and get out. But I, I... now, get that out of here. Hunter, I know how I'm going to do it. Lay it on me. What is Joe's Achilles heel? Casual wear. No. Cameron, he's in love with her, you know? Of course I know that. What planet have you been on? I'm going to turn her into the feds for hacking with Bosworth unless Joe leaves Cardiff. Isn't that a little bit evil? You're going to ruin Cameron's entire life just to get rid of Joe? Relax. I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just going to threaten to. Joe's too smart for that. What happens when he calls your bluff and realizes you don't have the stomach to go through with it? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Unless... You show him proof. Like this uplink from the bank's daemon. It shows the alteration of transaction codes all rooted back to Cameron's office computer. Donna, this is a print driver. Joe doesn't know that. First off, I'd like to start by saying that I wouldn't be standing here tonight in front of all of you if it weren't for Joe McMillan. None of us would be. Sometimes you had to drag us forward, kicking and screaming, but in the end, you were right. The Cardiff Giant is an incarnation of everything you are. It shows the reach and power of your vision and the very best of your abilities as a leader. To my partner, Joe McMillan. Joe! To my wife. Where's Donna? To my other partner, without whom I'd be completely lost. I love you, honey. I love you too, Gordon. <laughs> this vessel departs at dawn. Good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> Blah, blah. Overall, it's pretty fast. Yeah. There you go. Also, a wise value at such a low price. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, despite the LCD screen being hard to read in bright light. Bullshit. What did he do? Take it to the beach? <laughs> okay, here we go. Overall, the Cardiff Giant portable PC stands out as a strong contender in no frills computing accommodation. Okay. <laughs> we can take that to the bank. That's, that's good. Yeah. Right? I mean, thousand years. So what's right. next? Um, what are we going to do next? Joe McMillan, we're here. You have us building a damn spaceship. 